Hey Ubers! Well, you assemblage artists are going to absolutely hate me today because I went to the second hand store looking for junk and I think I hit the jackpot today. I found a lot of cool stuff and I just have to show you. Um, first of all, I found this uh, Byzantine art. Byzantium art. And it was originally as a three thing of three like so but the straps are really old and broken so um, it's no longer three but um, I'm going to use that in an assemblage piece at some stage I also got this frame which is really cool it's plastic uh, I thought I'd age it up and spray paint it and bitumen it and make it look old and authentic Um, and I've got a bunch of little, little um, bits and pieces. This was a little um, tapestry. It's a <laughs> made in Spain on the back, so that's that's really nice. I also got this frame. It's plastic on the back, but this is quite. I think it's quite. I mean, it's really solid. And I got this thing, I have no idea what it is, but I love the legs on it. They've got lion's faces on them. As you can see, and lion's feet. There's three of them, and that's the top for it. And um, I guess it went something like that. It's lost its there, and it just, I oh, must go that way. And then it just um, opens back inside like so I guess but I thought that could make a great an assemblage like for a base um, so for example like that assemblage actually that looks really good I could sit on that and I could join it and make it look like it's a, look like it's a part of it yep so I think that was made for that and that looks like a cap Ta -da, it's a cap. How cute. Alright, now the piste, piste de la de la de la. Yeah, the best bit <laughs> is this box I've bought. It's old. It's got, look at that rusty hinges on it. Like so. And it's got, look at that. Another nice old rusty one. But wait, there's more. Inside it's got a false floor. How cool is that? Um, it came off the hinges so I'll have to put that back on. But it's got this extra compartment like so. Really nice and old. And when you pull it out -da! it's got this cool that's metal. Metal base. Um, and that would make a, an awesome assemblage box to build stuff into it as well. Um, but how cool is that? I am loving this, my little collection today. So I better not tell Eric about this box because he collects old boxes. And I know as soon as he sees it, he's going he's gonna to go off. You can't turn that into an assemblage box. It's Norwe something Norwegian. He's going to go. And he's going to get all cranky. <laughs> and I'll go take a chill pill. I saw it. I bought it. It's mine. So get your mitts off it. <laughs> but this is going to be an assemblage box. Um, it's probably going to be mounted on the wall. And um, I was thinking of having it, having it so you can open it up. And maybe taking one of these old frames, probably that one's a bit big. Yeah, it's probably a bit big. I've got a selection and maybe cutting a door out of it and putting the frame in there as well. So that's my little collection for today. Pretty cool, huh? And the other thing I had to show you was what I did with um, 
Dark Angel box because I told you I hadn't quite finished it and I was just you know refining it and adding a few bits and pieces. Well, I did add a few <laughs> bits and pieces. Um, I uh, put a, this plexiglass in it and I spray painted it. Um, so you sort of have to peer into the box and then there's little bits of grass in there as well. Um, I haven't glued it yet. Let me, let me take the lid off. What I've done is um, I um, painted around bits. I added a little magnet, magnifying strip there to focus in on the the praying Mary. I think it is. Um, yep. Added some grass. Added these two wings to it as well. And um, I lowered it a little bit. I also added this and a bit of. Um, foil, uh, foil art, a bit of um, what even metal art, and um, that's what I've done. So I'm going to glue this lid on over the top, and then that should be pretty right to go. And the light, let me see if I can switch it on. You can sort of see it, see it come on and off. Hang on. It's really hard to use one hand and do stuff. Come here magnet. Okay there it is. Oh, you can't even see it because it's the daytime but anyway you get the idea. But loving the box how it turned out. So I started playing around in my visual diary which I don't do very often and I was just doing some sketches because I'm looking at um, developing um, the character of the White Rabbit from uh, Alice in Wonderland into a into a larger painting because uh, I'm a bit inspired to do something like that at the moment. Um, so I've just used Mona Lisa's face for the rabbit and just done, um, yeah, just a quick shot, a quick uh, body sketch. Um, and I've written, "Who said Mona couldn't be the White Rabbit?" And I've written it backwards. Um, and I did another quick one in a different position, and. Um, <laughs> I'll let you read what it says. <laughs> I posted that on Facebook. <laughs> uh, and also while I was at the um, garden centre I bought a heap more of these little flying angels with hearts. And they actually have them in larger, a larger size as well which is really cool. So I can paint them up and make them aged and do lots of different stuff with them. And, um, you know, you've got to stock up while you can, you know, when you're out hunting and you come across things like this, they're not going to last forever. So, you, you know, they always come in handy eventually. So grab as many as you can, I say. Um, so next time I go, I'll buy another dozen and um, go from there.